what has happened to the Oregon Ducks? Uh, two years ago, the Oregon Ducks are in the national championship game playing Ohio State. You got Marcus Mariota, the Heisman winner. You got Royce Freeman, a dominant running back, which they still have him. And, and some and some speedy guy at receiver and pretty good, pretty solid defense. I, I mean, it's, you could say it's pretty good compared to their past two years of defense. Uh, now, Oregon Athletic Director Rob Mullen said Monday that he understands the frustration and apparently appreciates the passion of which Duck fans who are calling for Mark Helfrich's job. Quote, I understand the frustration. I absolutely appreciate the passion. We're six games into the season, and we're not where any, anyone wants us to be. But there's still an opportunity to turn this uh, a, a little bit and see some positive results. As I talked to Mark, they go right back to work and get right back in, in it, end quote. Now, the Ducks, they've started 2-4 and four this season. They have lost uh, three consecutive Pac-12 games, including a 70-21 to 21 loss to the UW Huskies. UW. Uh, on Saturday night, which is the second worst margin of, uh, of of a defeat in program history, it's been flipped on them now. And last year, the, when the 2015 season, they started three and three, won six consecutive games, and then lost to uh, TCU, which that was that was a game, right? Uh, now with Oregon on a bye week this week, coaches have said they're planning on to returning to the basics to get this ba- get this team back on track. Uh, hoping to refocus a team that's run to a you know a similar position they were last year, except this year it's it's not just because they're one game down than they were last year. Uh, it's it's this team looks completely different. Uh, now, wh- however, a few of the Ducks' remaining games, this is where it becomes a problem. They don't look winnable. They do not look winnable. They would have to go four and two in the last six games to ensure just to get to a bowl game. I, I don't know about it. Uh, Mullins went on to say, quote, everyone is disappointed. I'm disappointed. The coaches are disappointed. The student athletes are disappointed. There's a lot of frustration. No one thought that we'd be two and four or expected to be two and four halfway into the season. We've got to get back to work and figure out how to turn these results around. I, I do. I don't know what happened to Oregon. They've got the facilities, everything you want in facilities. They honestly probably have the best collegiate facilities, uh, collegiate athletic facilities out there. Uh, I mean, I don't care who your team is. I don't think anybody really, I think everyone's trying to play catch up to Oregon's facilities. Uh, and then, you know, you have the recruiting. The recruiting has been there to pull these kids, but they haven't transformed them into top collegiate athletes. Uh, it, it just hasn't worked out. I'm shocked to see Oregon fall this way. But honestly, I could see my TCU Horn Frogs the same way. Two years ago, we were in the Peach Bowl. Probably should have been in the college football playoffs, but just going to throw it out there. And then the last year, solid year. This year, it's uh, kind of on the same page as Oregon. A shaky offense, terrible defense, kind of off the map of college football. I don't know what's happened to Oregon. Uh, hopefully gets turned around before Mark Helfrich loses his job. But the way the season holds out for them, it's looking like Helfrich will be looking for a job. I, I don't